Okay guys, so I'm back at Dubai Mall because today is the launch of one of my favorite collections of the year. It's the Metier collection and my shop assistant at Dubai Mall said she put a few of the pieces that I asked for on hold. Although I didn't put anything really on a wish list there, my wish list is actually with the other store, so. So my essay at Chanel pulled aside some really beautiful pieces from the collection, which I'm so excited about. And, oh my God, this I'm definitely getting. Wow. This one, wow. It's like a boxy fit and it's got these really adorable little buttons. You know, I think it doesn't look that great on me, but like, I'm also obsessed with that. There's so many other cool things. Love this, it's a long one. This is so popular, I might have to get that. And these pants, these jeans with the cocoa on the back. Wow, how cute are these? Okay, I am obsessed with the detailing on that. Skeptical about this because it's like towel fabric literally towel <laughs> I'm wearing a beach towel but it's actually so cute I love the cut even done up it's cute love these but way too big that's so annoying so today is the 7th I believe and the full collection launches to the public on the 15th I am so excited. Honestly, yesterday we did the pre-shop at Dior. Today we're doing the pre-shop at Chanel. The stuff is amazing. I feel like, I know this is gonna sound bad, but there are a few things I need to slash for my Dior order because I feel like it's a lot. And the thing is with me, I don't wanna buy pieces for the sake of it just because it's new season. And a few of the Dior stuff is a bit like that. Whereas I prefer like classic pieces. <sighs> I just ran to the toilet because I had to pee. But um, yeah, as I was saying, look, I love the stuff that I picked up at Dior, but there are a few pieces which are just kind of like now pieces. And a few of the pieces are more like classic Dior pieces. And that's what I really do love about Dior, particularly is their tailoring and their classic cuts. The bar jackets, wow, unreal. They're so beautiful. And I'm surprised I don't own a bar jacket already. So I'm definitely gonna have to get one of those. And the skirts, I really love those, so I'm gonna have to pop that. I'm fully aware that the setup is like so awkward, but I'm currently in a different location because I have a multitude of things going on in other parts of the house. And this is literally the only location I can film in, so I do apologize. My shelves have been cleared because these are actually getting tossed out. I finally am moving on from my Ikea shelves because I now have a set wardrobe, which is actually getting made today, but today we're not discussing that. Today we're discussing what I got from Chanel. I got invited to the preview, like I said. I got invited on the 7th, the collection launches on the 15th. I don't mean to brag, but it is kind of cool. What is this? Ooh, okay, wow. I was actually very excited about some things that I picked up. Let's just go through that. Not a flower. Oh, this is the new Camellia collection. They actually showed me um, a really beautiful piece. A pink gold necklace, which could just be wrapped around like, wow, that was really stunning. This is, I don't want to look at the spring collection now. So first and foremost, let's go with the smallest but the cutest item that I got. This is something I've literally been dying to get. Like it's honestly sold out everywhere. Like it's impossible to get your hands on this unless you have a link. And she actually went out of her way and she put this out there. Like this is actually one thing I really appreciate with my particular sales associate at this particular Chanel. She actually understands my personal style and will put out pieces which she thinks I would like and I really appreciate that. They do that a deal too and I really love that. But at the other Chanel store, like I don't think the woman has any idea like of anything. I'm not trying to say be for Chanel, I promise. But I finally got a Chanel beanie. I don't think I'm gonna be wearing the Chanel on the front. Like I feel like that's just not a vibe. Like maybe I'll wear it on the side or at the back. But she had one piece of this and I was like, 
just give it to me i need it you guys already know i die for beanies like i just love beanies i think they're great this is gonna sound so gross but basically you know when you're having a bad hair day in the uk either it looks awful or it just looks slightly greasy throw on a beanie you're good to go it just goes with the outfit because london is so cold whereas like throwing on a cap is more like you have to go for a casual vibe sometimes i don't want to go for a casual vibe sometimes i want to look cute and just have a nice tea cozy on my hair so yeah. oh okay so i also want to let you guys know they have a special capsule collection called the coco beach collection why am i moving my hand so much the coco beach collection and um, this is a very popular collection which launches i believe globally they had a few swimsuits that i really wanted to get but they sold out and i couldn't make it to the preview which is sad but she has put them on order for me, so hopefully I'll get them. They're just like these stunning pieces with like a big Chanel brooch in the middle. And they're like cut out. So cute. But I managed to pick up this beautiful jacket. And I was a bit skeptical at first because the fabric was like towel material. I thought this was just like a really cute piece to just throw on on top of like literally anything. Particularly like swimming costumes. Like you know when you go to like a beach club or like... Or like just the pool downstairs in like your hotel and you want to look cute and sophisticated as opposed to just like looking like a slob. You can just throw on this on top of like your swimming costume, maybe put on like a little pair of shorts. So cute. And like I love how the material is not going to get ruined. It's something which you can literally just, I would assume, throw in the washing machine. Though I personally would not be throwing this in the washing machine because I don't know how to actually utilize a washing machine effectively and accurately so i'm like the worst wife ever but you know it's 2020 like we share jobs this is actually i didn't get a lot from the collection because i obviously couldn't put anything on a wish list but she did show me a few pieces which i really loved and there is one particular jacket which i loved i couldn't actually find it my size was a little bit large but there is another piece which i have my eye on and i'm hoping they receive because that is to die for like that is my favorite piece i am hoping praying they get this but i actually bumped into one of my personal shoppers the girl that gets me my cute birkins whilst i was at chanel and she's like have you seen the sweatshirts and i was like no she's like you have to see them the ones with the chanel here with a big pair of chanel earrings they look so cute my sales associate actually put aside two she put aside the black and the white and wow so I obviously went for the black. This is such a beautiful piece. I feel like with a Dolce & Gabbana crown, could be a vibe. So this is like the embroidery detailing on the sweater. I believe this is cashmere because it is so warm. And I actually picked up in slightly, what size is it? This is a 38, so it's slightly oversized, but I do love my knitwear oversized, particularly jumpers. We love a cashmere moment. She also showed me like the little crop tops with the big Chanel on the front. And I was like, you know what? I mean, those are cute, but I'm not a huge fan of like massive logos. Wow, I have my moments. Yeah, but like that's just something I personally would not wear. Like it was a bit much. It was like Chanel overboard, like just letting you know I'm wearing Chanel. Although I feel like that could be a popular piece and a lot of people would be wearing it just for an Instagram moment. So that was that from Chanel. She has put the piece that I wanted on order, as well as a few other things. There are bags from the collection, which I really want to get. And the reason why I'm so annoyed with my sales associate and my other Chanel store is because I actually asked her to put aside this particular bag. I put it on my wish list. This was the one piece I put on my wish list. And she actually ordered the wrong one. And I was like, how is this possible? I was so sad. I'm pretty sure they're gonna get them in store anyways. Cause like, obviously they can't just be catering to their private clients. They obviously have to cater to the entire country. Anyways, then I strolled into the Aquazura store and finally bit the bullet and picked up a pair of shoes, which I have been eyeing up. I have said this previously that this was a pair of shoes that I wanted to get, but I actually didn't find the color that I wanted. Regardless, I'm so glad that I tried them on because if I actually bought this particular pair that I wanted online prior to trying them on, they would have been way too big. I'm usually a 36, but this was actually, I had to get these in a 35 and a half, which is strange, but it does actually have, actually I'll show you the design, stop blabbering. So these are, the shoes this beautiful sling back heel 
and the height is I believe 108, 105 cent millimeters, centimeters. <laughs> they had the silver, they also had the gold, but the gold was only in 85 millimeters and I'm not that girl, it's not a bit of me. This, this I can do. So very excited about these. I did try on the 36, but they were actually too big because like the issue I had with the Amina Muadis, this kept like slipping off and it was quite large. So I felt like the 35 and a half was a lot more comfortable. I definitely want to get the black. I feel like the black are just a staple and I potentially might get the gold as well because you can never have too many gold and silver shoes. Like they're just metallics. They go with everything. They're such fabulous colors. Okay, in my previous video, you guys would have seen that I went to the preview of this collection and I bought a few things, probably still that vlog, but then I went back because there were a few other pieces that I wanted to get. I did say I wanted to get this jumper and I did say I wanted to get this jacket. And the jacket that I selected was actually too big, so she was gonna get me another size, but I did ask her if she had another style. Similar to that, but another style which I felt was more me. Okay guys, so I'm back at Dubai Mall Chanel because service here is amazing they literally laid out everything that i'd asked for from the metiers collection um this sweatshirt is literally like in high demand and she managed to get me two sizes extra small and small and then this piece from the coco beach collection in extra small and small love these this is also from the new collection and this is the piece that i was dying for can't wait to try that on and these are two more pieces from the Coco Beach collection. Wow, I love this. This is like me channeling my inner Cruella de Vil vibes. I am obsessed. This is so beautiful. So this is the sweatshirt on in size so small. It's cute, but like I'm not obsessed with that to be honest, but I do really love it. Look at the detailing. So this is the jacket on. It kind of reminds me of like the one I just got that's in like the towel fabric. This is in like a tweed. I think I'm gonna have to pass on this because it's literally the exact same, just a bit larger, longer. I actually came up to the private suite that I was telling you about when I first came for the private sale at Dubai Mall. This is basically it. There's other people in there, but this is my little room. <laughs> this is so cute. I love the service at Chanel. And honestly, they don't know I'm a YouTuber, which is what I appreciate the most. No shade, but she actually selects things which I really like. And the service is still amazing considering I'm literally just a client to them, not anyone else, just a client. So thumbs up for Chanel. Was gonna start beef, but I don't have to. <laughs> so this is like the top floor of the main Chanel boutique, which is like, as I said, their private little area. And cute. <gasps> Ooh, we might have to get some accessories downstairs. I'm kind of feeling these, no, I'm not, I'm kidding. <laughs> Here we have my new, I'm just obsessed with these, like I can't, I can't deal. This is like channeling my inner Cruella de Vil, wow. I can not with this jacket. Like, I think this has to be one of my favorite Chanel jackets I've ever got my hands on. Yeah, okay, this is definitely one of my favorite ever Chanel jackets because of this amazing collar. Wow, I love a high collar with jackets and I also love a collarless jacket. So, beautiful high collar, these insane buttons, like so stunning. And if you look on the back, it's literally like, this is like seriously channeling me like in a me i'm one person on youtube and then my another person offline this jacket is stunning not only because of the monochrome situation going on and the beautiful collar the fabric the texture of it it's just like oh, we could talk about this jacket for days but 
one thing I really do love is these. These are actually detachable cuffs. Crazy. They're detachable. You can actually take these out. She did say if they get dirty, then we have spare cuffs. I love that. I actually really love that. So you can actually wear the jacket without them or even with them. They actually have a little button, which can also be sewn on. Of course, with every Chanel piece, you get an extra bit of fabric as well as extra buttons if necessary and thread. Literally everything comes in this. So if you ever pick up any Chanel ready to wear, it's important to keep these little packets because on the back, you've actually got the item that it goes with size all the details as well as your little packet full of stuff that you need and oh, i'm just obsessed with this and i'm so glad she gave me a dust bag and hanger like the jackets actually do come with hangers fortunately what what oh my god yeah this is This is literally lady online. Lady online. Just look at the beautiful detailing. Like, I got this in a size 36. Wow. Stunning. Okay, so I've just actually realized that these are two different collars. <laughs> so this is a short high collar and this is actually a regular collar. It's genuinely like two different jackets sewn together but like also in a cohesive way so this is like a faux pocket if you guys can see without any buttons and then this is actually like another faux pocket but oh no it's not it's a real pocket with a little flap this is so much nicer than i thought this is this i love this okay then as you guys saw in my previous video i picked up something from the coco beach capsule collection that beautiful like towel jacket which i'm obsessed with i did actually have my eye on on one of the one pieces but i didn't get a chance to actually go to the preview when i got invited to it so obviously i missed out on that and this was probably one of the most requested pieces which my sales system managed to get for me and i'm so glad i managed to find this is the one piece swimsuit let me just show you guys a picture of it before so this is what it looks like and i got it in size 36 i tried on the 34 but it was a bit of a tight situation and i'd rather stuff be a bit bigger than a bit loose because then it can get fitted and altered so fabric's not great i'm not gonna lie it's not like the most attractive this is this is the situation it's like got this little bit here so I am obsessed with it. Like, I actually... I'm not a huge fan of the contrast stitching. I don't think it is the cutest. This did come in another colour, but obviously I wear black a lot. Although I don't think I'm going to really be wearing this... Actually, no, I'm lying. I'll probably wear this swimming and I'll probably wear this as, like, a crop top with, like, a pair of high-waisted pants because I just love that Chanel detail in the middle and it just gives you this illusion of curves if you don't have curves. I love that. And you get a cute little pouch. Okay, I just realized whilst editing, I completely forgot to show you guys this piece. This was like the most iconic piece from the collection. And I actually picked it up. My SA managed to find me a size extra small and a small, but I got the small for a slightly oversized fit. I am obsessed with it. Just look at this detailing. Crazy. It's all like embroidered. Initially, I thought that this would just be like kind of like just thread <laughs> or like even just a stuck on sitch but no it's like 3d it's got little tiny camellias all over it beautiful i absolutely love this it's so cute and i'm so lucky i managed to get it i also realized i didn't show you guys um the unboxing of two pairs of shoes that i got so i'll just insert that vlog footage here so you guys can check that out and then we'll head to the closing scene okay so the last of the Metier collection, which is the most special piece, which I had to get my hands on. This is the new collection sweatshirt and I am obsessed with it. So glad she kept this for me and she managed to source it because, and then I picked up two items which I cannot live without. No. 
2012. Ew. This isn't 2012, Elise. You just said I can't live without them and you bought like 100 pairs. So. Okay, but we're done with that. I got... Trainers. Yes, Mona. Very good. I got the all black, which oh is the God, new style. Sorry, they're hideous. I know, they kind of look like Air Forces, but like I just live in look trainers. Look at them, <laughs> Look, they are so similar to these, but she actually pointed out this bit has... No. Can you not? <clears throat> People will have a heart attack. No, I'm sorry. This bit has... Um, Tweed and these ones are just oh it's tweed sha just oh sha and then the other side these says ones are just these ones are just sha it now <laughs> and then obviously guys obviously yeah, I forgot about it. <laughs> no I know what she got Flat. what is it oh another Mom. pair <gasps> do you really need another pair oh, yeah those are mine yeah see <gasps> what is he doing yep. he's drinking to bath the other side says now and I know they look exactly the same but I did. I was actually on the hunt for the exact same pair, but um, as you guys know, I love matching pairs. I love buying double of items, which I wear a lot. You can Shoes see off my white sofa, please. These are kind of beat, but these are brand new, and I think these are going to be my, you know. They're literally the same, but anyway. How comfortable are they? So comfortable. More than the Louis Vuitton? Oh yeah, like way more. No way. But these aren't for you, like these are like too young. Like Louis Vuitton, like unstated and like comfy, you can just keep those. Are we done? But how cool is this? Yeah, that's nice. This they styled it with like a really nice skirt, but um, like a small school skirt. No, like a big ball gown, like kind of like the um the oh, Dior okay. vibes. I don't know. No, I'm not gonna style. I it with think a this skirt. would look really nice with a small tweed skirt, like you know pleated tweed skirt. Yeah, I love that school girl vibes. Yeah. Oh my God, this is okay, sweet. can I put this yeah, away okay. now? Yeah, that basically summarizes today's video. Another shopping haul vlog. I don't have much going on in my life, can't lie. If you guys want to see more of me, then you can find more of me on my Instagram. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe, tap that bell to get notified every time I upload, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching.